I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. doing my own manicures but that's literally all i wanted to show i'm about to get in stopping to say hello really quick before i head to mariano's i'm going to grab the last minute things that we need for christmas brunch and dinner we're gonna do shrimp and grits for brunch and crab boils for dinner it's gonna be so good i'm so excited um i just need to pick up like a couple more pieces of catfish because we're also gonna have fried catfish and i need to pick up some cajun seasoning oh we're also doing cajun fried shrimp oh my god i'm getting so hungry right now um yeah i feel like i might be forgetting something but i have a list on my phone so this is the new product that i endorse <laughs> My daughter will be signing the bottles. Just come to Mariano tomorrow. You have a Where'd you park? Down in Holloway, there. Oh. There you go. So it's alcohol. You get it. Ah. So cold. Merry, Merry Christmas. Who's talking to? I'm talking to your phone. Oh. Did you record? Oh. <laughs> what did you record? I don't know who I'm talking to. I'm talking to you and your phone. This is for my vlog. Oh, this is for your vlog? Yeah. What they need to know? Nothing. I'm just making a run. Oh, okay. What's the temperature? Like 22. It's not two degrees. It's like two degrees out here. <sighs> I thought it wasn't that bad, but it's actually freezing. And it's snowing. Huh? The battery don't work no more. Huh? Battery don't work no more. What do you mean? Oh. <laughs> it's so cold. My head. It don't work. It works on mine. Let's see. Here, I could do it for me. Hmm. We could put it in a truck. I guess I only got two bags. I just got back home. It's literally so cold outside. I have not experienced weather this cold in, I don't know, a minute. I'm gonna be talking about my experience 
during my first semester of medical school. Um, specifically things that I wish I could change or things that I would do differently and things that I think I did well and will definitely carry with me. Hi friends, so there has been a change of plans. I definitely plan to talk through this entire get ready with me and post that. But one, it ended up being like an hour long and I just, it didn't flow how I wanted it to flow. Like I'm not great at multitasking. But anyway, I wanted to still do my voiceover and talk about some things that I wish I could do differently about my first semester of medical school and some things that I'm definitely going to carry on into next semester. So number one thing that I would do differently is establishing a study schedule that allows me to review the material really early and really often. So by early and often, I mean like I'm reviewing the same day that I have a lecture because there's so much material in the medical school curriculum that it just makes it so much more manageable when you are reviewing really really early on um, and then when i say study often i mean like that one review after the lecture is never ever going to be enough so i tried to do three passes of the material and then revisit it a couple more times throughout the semester Number two thing that I would do differently is getting a tutor the first block. So this is something that I did for the entire block two. I had a tutor and we would meet once a week and basically would just do a brief review and practice questions. And that was extremely helpful for me in just solidifying the information that was presented that week. And then having someone who's already covered the material to highlight some high yield points. Another thing that I wish I could do differently um, would be establishing a really good just day-to-day -day routine. So not just like um, my study schedule, but just a general like what do I do when I wake up? What do I do before I go to sleep? And things like that. So I'm definitely still working on that and I'm in the process of establishing a really, really solid morning routine. And when I do have that in place, I'm definitely going to share that on YouTube. I don't want to make the video if it's not something that I religiously do, so I'm just waiting on that. And I think the last thing that I wish I could do differently would be figuring well spending more time figuring out what works for me personally instead of trying to hop on the bandwagon and doing what I have heard that other people have done or what I've heard that my classmates are doing right now and the biggest mistake I made as far as this goes is jumping into some really big Anki decks from like the first week of school so if you are a medical student or honestly it's not just medical students who use Anki like everyone uses Anki but the way that it's set up is just space repetition flashcards and there are some pre-made decks which is what the people in my class use and the reason that i didn't like it is because there are so many cards in one deck for one topic that like you feel like you're never going to be able to master the topic and i really hate that feeling of just feeling like defeated and overwhelmed so i figured out that Anki just didn't work for me and once I was able to accept that I finally went ahead and just like found what really did work and some of the things that worked really good were osmosis, um, Bortz and Beyond, Pathoma and then just really diving in deep into the lecture material. So that is a major thing. And then one thing that I started doing towards the end of the second block and something that I'm definitely going to carry throughout my entire medical school journey, my medical career, all the above, is just really slowing down and appreciating the moment because I, like so many of my peers, basically have worked my whole entire life to get into medical school like as I was recording this video I had a moment where I realized that it took me eight years to get into medical school and those eight years the first four was during my undergrad experience and then the next two years was my post back and then the last two years was just me working and taking the MCAT and doing my medical school applications so it's a really really long process and although it's really difficult it just it's worth taking a moment to just stop and look around and be like wait I really did this like the thing that I have been 
working so hard for and the thing that I have been just wanting for so long is finally right here in front of me. And because it is challenging and it requires a lot of time and effort and dedication, it's easy to just get so caught up in that and forget about just how incredible it is that you finally have made it to this point. So I'm definitely going to make sure that I do that a lot more often because this is still crazy to me. Like sometimes I can't even believe I am in medical school. Like it's insane. Um, but anyway, I am going to wrap up with that. That's just the thing that I want to carry along with me. And I'm really looking forward to sharing more of my journey on YouTube and posting different types of content. On January 1st, I'm going to be dropping the first episode of a new series that I bring to my channel called Taylor Talks. And with that, I am going to leave you to watch the end of the video. And I will see you next time. I hope you enjoyed. Bye. All right, friends, this is the finished look. So I'm getting ready to take some pictures. I'm gonna get a, like, a good thumbnail for this 